Okay, so... Oh, this isn't a two-player game. This is all me. Is it? I, oh, I don't know. Oh, well, we don't know! So, we don't know anything. We picked this completely at random. This is Idle Hakenden. Okay, we got one chick. I think they're friends or sisters? I think oh. they're sisters. Oh, oh, oh. And that's either her mouth or a rotten lemon pasted to her <laughs> face. Someone's sick. Mm. There's a demon that's sick in the bed. <laughs> okay. They're talking it out. Why, why, why is she holding... It looks like she's flipping off the camera. Hmm. <laughs> it does. It looks like, it looks she's, like she's about to pick her non-existent nose. <laughs> No, they're, they're totally sisters and their dad's sick. <clears throat> how, how much do you want to bet that we're not going to be able to play this game? Probably. <laughs> I'll say, could, what if it's like a text based? You gotta be loud. What? Oh, I'm not loud enough? Well, if you whisper. Oh. They're not going to be able to hear you over the music. Fine. <laughs> I'll just have to yell the whole time. Well, you don't have to yell. I'm just going to yell the whole time. Don't yell the whole time, because then you'll <laughs> sound like an asshole. <laughs> We're still working the kinks out here. This is new. Whoa. She is going hard. So she's like a pop star? Oh, it makes sense, because they refer to them as idols in Japan. Oh. So idol Hakenden would be... Oh, she's just going. I'm hitting buttons and nothing's happening. Whoa. This is, now this she's... is just a cutscene? Yeah. Or... Yeah, no, I, I can't skip through it. You been hitting start? Oh, I didn't hit start because I kind of wanted to see what would happen. And it didn't do anything? No, I didn't hit start. No, you just did though, didn't you? No. Oh. Put my finger on it. It was the illusion. Oh. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Act, Act one. one. Oh, man. I have... Yeah. It's going to be an adventure game. Yep. You want to you want to make up your own story? <laughs> Dracula well, shows up. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I like that painting of cherries on the wall. Can I have or it, is it, please? Plums? It's probably plums. <laughs> Dracula shows up. I guess, is this the grandmother or is this actually? It looks like Dracula. It's in the, whoever this is in robes. Um, I'm gonna go with one that has the most characters. I will give you sure. eight dollars for your painting of plums. <laughs> well, I'm going with I'm going with the, the this girl, the youngest girl is a famous pop star, and her two sisters are like, "You're the one with all the money. You need to get your shit together and help dad not be sick." Okay. And then this emo kid shows up. Yeah, wh who the fuck is that? It's their weird cousin that eats all the food at the family reunions. <laughs> oh, don't we all? Don't we all have one of those? Oh man! Oh wait, they're why did they leave? Where it's the weird go? cousin who comes to the family reunion, doesn't eat the food but puts it on their plate and then sets it aside and goes up and gets more to not eat. <laughs> Drinks out of the bird bath. Oh, <laughs> bonsai tree. I, I told you. There. Cyber Gong Show. Oh, he's a gongist. <laughs> a gong. Look at him. It makes sense now. I almost wish we had face cam so that people could see the look I just gave you when you said gongist. She's, <laughs> she's so, Why do they have two separate entrances? Is this is this like the Gong Show, like the old TV show? <laughs> no. Oh, he's a gongist. Whoa. Um. Is he like a bouncer? Is a bouncer to the gong like a, show? He's got like a... That could either be like a leather daddy the, cap. Or, I'm going with leather daddy cap. Or he's like a rent a cop. <laughs> I'm going with leather daddy cap because he's in a muscle shirt. This is why I love like 8-bit game era graphics because it could be either a rent a cop or a leather daddy. I think I think it's the, the, the gongist sugar daddy. Okay. The gong is <laughs> If I did episode titles, that would be the title of this episode. The gong is? Yeah. The gong is sugar daddy. <laughs> Again. 
This is all this game is going to be, by I the way. I know. Well, no, I know. Which is why I think that we should play for maybe, like, another... It's just to see if anything interesting happens. Anything more interesting than the gongist and his sugar daddy. <laughs> and then this is the gongist. Is that the gongist? Yes. The emo kid gongist. I thought that was the gongist no. in, the, in the suit. No, 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 the emo kid is the gongist. And the leather dude, leather daddy is a sugar daddy. I think the gongist is a girl. No, she's the pop star. No, I think they're both girls. The emo kid, I think, is a girl. I think it's a girl, too, <laughs> actually. Uh, and we all know that in 1980s Japan, women were not allowed to be gongists. <laughs> I don't know any such thing, actually. She's got, like, boobs and shit. She's wearing a belt above her belly button. <laughs> Only girls do that. Girls and Boy George. <laughs> it, he could have a Boy George thing going on. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's Boy George. Is Boy George a gongus? You don't understand. Oh! Oh! I progressed! And there's a little potato man behind the <laughs> counter. Potato man or ladybug lady? Got, like, little Ooh. antennas. Ooh. There's like an Illuminati poster on the wall. <laughs> oh God, there is. Okay, it's a potato uh, woman. It's a, it's a potato <laughs> something. It's a potato people. Oh, I know that we don't actually have any context for anything that's happening here, but this game seems weird. I'm just guessing at this point. Okay, so she's happy about stuff. She's talking to the potato lady. I'm almost. She's happy about. Stuff. I'm almost glad that this. I'm almost glad that this game doesn't have a fan translation. Oh, I wish it did. Oh, mm. gong is this is person just suddenly a gong is. <laughs> because it's. And also, gong is just suddenly a word. <laughs> Whoa, the characters are starting to look good. Whoa, new Whoa. character. Uh, <laughs> it's Boy George. <laughs> it's. It's Boy George. <laughs> it's actually not Boy George. It's the, it's one of the gongists, like, multiple personalities. <laughs> She's super happy about something. Oh! Oh! Are we at a juice bar? I think you're at a coffee shop. got a sewing machine on the counter for some reason. It's a juicer. He's talking about something, but she's super pumped. And he's like, I don't think juicer. so. That's no juicer. And now Boy George is talking. It's a juicer, but not as we know it. She okay, that makes her dance. <laughs> that makes her eat a rotten lamb. <laughs> <laughs> that makes her question her existence. Huh. That makes her shoot mushrooms out of her forehead. Okay, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking some more. He's like, do you want to come to my sex dungeon? And the only option is yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why she made that face, because he's like, do you want to come to my sex dungeon? And she's like, ah. Uh. Um. And he's like, ah, uh, maybe you should go to the sex dungeon, because it's pretty awesome place. And she's like, I failed not tying in Girl Scouts. Oh, I got somewhere. You keep progressing. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? You're, you just keep talking to people that are behind counters. <laughs> That's the entire game so far. Do you have my nose? I seem to have lost my nose. No, we don't have your nose. Have you seen my gong? I'm a gong as Look, I can gong. sing. <laughs> Look, I can dance. <laughs> Look, I'm. Ooh. What the new fuck? New noises. Apparently, I've impressed someone because that seems like a happy. You've impressed them 17 noise. times. Whoa, new character. I'm amazing. That's how I'm doing it. She's like, come check out my show. It's going to be amazing. Yes, I will check out your show. As long as you go to Boy George's Sex Dungeon with me. 
<laughs> wow. Boy George's Sex Dungeon would also be a great episode title. <laughs> <laughs> shop teacher. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Potato Lady. Why? Because I don't I don't get Potato Lady and her lifestyle choices. Whoa. But look, I progressed. Yeah, but but to what? We're watching stars now. Uh-huh. It almost sounded like Funky Town for a second there. Get yourself to Funky Town. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten lemon mouth. <laughs> Look, she's like daydreaming about ghost broccoli right now. That's what that looks like to me. <laughs> now her and the gongist are talking. And her friend came. Oh, her friend's a scientist. That's why she has a white coat. It's not just super 80s. Oh. I bet she's. Uh... Well, how oh. did I get back here? How did I get back here? Fucking scientist. That's why she's wearing glasses too. <laughs> we should have known the moment she saw we saw glasses that she was a scientist. It's only scientists wear. Yeah. What is she thinking of? Um, Mother Teresa. Slots. Uh, a llama. Jesus. A wrecked airplane. Bare naked ladies. The Mona Lisa. <laughs> she seems very upset if it is the Mona Lisa. <laughs> a pissed off Mona Lisa. Like what? If How? <gasps> You're at the aquarium now. With a statue <laughs> of Mr. Magoo? <laughs> no, it's it's um it's a lady with no eyes. Or it's a person with a clock for a face. It's really funny that I and keep progressing. <laughs> what if it's not ghost broccoli but regular cauliflower? It's not bumpy enough to be cauliflower. <laughs> <gasps> I've exhausted all my choices. What is that thing? Whoa! In the top? It's like an otter. Yes, because it has a it has a um, a clam. See, look, you can see it floating in the tank over there. They eat clams and they break them open with rocks on their tummies because they're intuitive. <laughs> An industrious little otters. <laughs> oh. Would you say Boy George is an otter? <laughs> It depends on the prime. decade. Yeah, in his yeah. prime, definitely. In the eighties, he was an otter. He was an otter. Yeah. Look, you can see the little blob that looks like a demon in the tank over there. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. That's an otter, then. Yes. Ooh. She's still distressed about whatever she is trying. <laughs> She's to She's distressed of. about the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it would be funny if we ran into. Her. She's like. I'm so happy. And the otter's like, the fuck? And she's like, oh, she's singing for the otter. She's oh. singing for the otter. And he's like, the fuck? Yeah, lady, I'm an otter. I don't appreciate human music. See, I must be accomplishing things because we're doing new things. Hmm. And he's like, uh... And the gong is just like, you should really not sing to otters. They get angry. And the scientist is like, that's a scientifically proven fact. <laughs> otters don't have ears. <laughs> like, she's a scientist, but she doesn't actually know anything. She just makes <laughs> things up that are always wrong. <laughs> All otters are deaf because they're born without ears. <laughs> you, if you wonder to hear... The first time you said that, it was a little convincing. And I was like... 
do otters have ears? How did I get back oh, no, they here? Do. I didn't want to go back here. I liked hanging out with my otter friend. Scientist lady's like, if you want the otter to hear you sing, you'll have to carve ears into it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that fucking otter again. He's a, a derpy. Otter. He's a derpy looking otter. Hmm. Oh, she. She did not sit. The otter touched her inappropriately. <laughs> I think she was trying to impress the otter, and the otter was like, Honey, I'm a fucking otter. Get someone with your, who's your own species. Listen, honey, I'm an otter, <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, I'm tired of being... Oh, God, there's a scuba diver now. Are we going to talk that, to her now? I think that might be you. I think <laughs> you might have inexplicably jumped in the tank. <laughs> with scuba equipment? Sure. You should love me. But I'm really stressed about this thing. Really stressed about ghost broccoli. She's like, me it's too. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, everyone is. We all have ghost broccoli problems <laughs> now and then. You're at that age. <laughs> You're at that age. <laughs> oh man. She's like, I am at that age. <laughs> She's like, I can sing and dance. Fuck your mom. <laughs> Can't get her off my mind. Oh, God. The gong is like, seriously, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> Scientist lady is like, yeah, gong is right. <laughs> She's almost out of oxygen in there. You shouldn't keep bothering her. Am I the only one who thinks that the snake in the background kind of looks like a dick and ball? It's an eel. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's not a eel. snake. We're at the it's goddamn aquarium. Whatever. <laughs> there are water snakes. <laughs> yeah, I really wish you could see the face that Casey made. <laughs> there are water snakes. No, there is not. Yeah, there That's are. That's not a thing. You never heard of water mo moccasins? They're just snakes that happen to go in the water. They live in the water. They don't... Do they live in the water? Well, like catfish? Mm, what? <laughs> like Where'd catfish a... <laughs> come from? It's because... really random. <laughs> Because I'm thinking that the snake would live in a hole like the catfish do. Like when you go noodling, you stick your arm in random holes and hope you don't get bit too hard. And then if they bite you, you, you use your arm as bait. You stick your hand in the hole and hopefully there's a catfish in there and it eats your arm and then you pull it out and hug it until it kill it. And Is that how you catch catfish? That's how you noodle for catfish. It's called noodling. <laughs> I think we never... need I think we need to stop playing this game. <laughs> I think we're done here. Have you have you have you never heard of noodling? I have, but I heard of it as a deviant sexual practice. <laughs> what wait, Let's I, play haven't, something else. I haven't heard of it as that. Bye. Oh, bye bye.